Is it really a trip worthwhile if you don't wait till 10 p.m. the night before to pack your shit? Hi, this is not normally a vlogging channel, but you're getting a vlog. <laughs> um, and why? Because we're going to a convention, baby. I say we, it's uh, me and Carrie. Me and Carrie are going to a convention. <laughs> um, it was originally supposed to be a much... Um, wider beret of our friends but you know between um you know family emergencies finances stuff like plans have fallen through so now it is just me and carrie and you know what i'm excited because me and carrie haven't gotten a lot of one-on-one -on -one time one-on-one -on -one bestie friend time so um i'm really excited okay to give you guys actual context um this weekend is missouri comic-con and not as um glamorous as new york or san diego but you know what we take what we can get um but yeah uh it started like popping up like advertising wise on all of our like pages like a month ago and we're like why not go it'll be so fun um carrie's been to a lot of conventions before i haven't been to a convention in like eight years the last convention i went to was Connaught Delete in Chicago, like in 2015, when I was a wee sophomore in high school or something like that. So yeah, it's been a while for me. While I don't foresee this being like, you know, crazy convention with like a bunch of shit happening, they got, still have a lot of really, really cool guests that me and Carrie are very excited about. They got Johnny on Bosch, which if I have to explain who Johnny on Bosch is, then the um, Chris Wenkamp, who predominantly is Aizawa in My Hero Academia, so we're very excited about that. Um, Amberly Connors, um, who does a lot of stuff. She's uh, Comey and Comey Can't Communicate. Um, I know her as Peak in Attack on Titan, my queen. Um, Ian Sinclair, Ian Sinclair, we love him. Bokto, um, Shoji, my hero a bunch of shit I can't think of right now. Um, and then um, Jim Cummings, Winnie the Pooh, oh my god. Um, and a bunch of other people I can't remember right now, even non-anime people because it's a Comic-Con, not an actual anime convention. But uh, yeah, so that's some of the people we'll be interacting with this weekend. So I don't really have any cosplays to work with for this weekend because I'm lazy and poor. Um, but I do have like some outfits. I know um, Carrie has both a Deku cosplay and a Hinata cosplay for Haikyuu and My Hero. So I'm kind of going with that theme so, so we can be matching. Um, I do have like these like Nishinoya, I think they're technically PJs, um, but I'll wear those when she does her Hinata thing. Technically not a cosplay, the closest thing I got. And then I got like um, this cute um, UA High sweatshirt on, um, you can't fucking see it, uh, UA High on Etsy. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'll be wearing. This is the worst fucking vlog ever. <laughs> I'm super excited to look around like the artist alley and the vendors and stuff and hopefully stay within my budget. Um, but in terms of like autographs, as usual in conventions nowadays, um, when I went to conventions, um, I was lucky enough the, the voice actors and stuff didn't charge for autographs, but you know, times are rough and actors need to make money. So I understand why actors have fees, um, but I think the, the cheapest the cheapest autograph fee is like 40 bucks. Um, I don't know if that's for a singular item. I don't know if that's just as a whole and they'll be like, here, pay this fee. And yeah, I'll, I'll sign a couple things. I don't know. But um, my main priorities are Ian Sinclair and Chris Wickham. Um, Those are my two priorities, mostly because I, I love Johnny and Bosch. I have nothing for him to sign at the moment. So unless I find a print or something like that, I have nothing. Amberly Connors, again, I'd love to get her to sign some peak shit, but I don't own any peak shit unless, again, I find a nice print or something like that. So, um, and I want to be reasonable in what I ask them to sign. So for um, Chris Winkamp, the main thing, I have the good old My Hero Ultra analysis, and I'm just going to have him sign Aizawa's page. That's tentacle. That's not his. 
Well, if um, Ian can sign more than two things, I'll have him sign um, Shoji's page as well. But that, this is not my priority for Ian to sign. But this is my priority for Chris to sign. So get him to sign this lovely, lovely page. Um, hopefully it doesn't bleed onto the other page, but if it does, oh fucking well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so um, if Ian can sign more than two things with the one fee, um, I'll have him also sign this. But my priority for Ian is actually something different. So these are like my pride and joy in terms of decor, and there are these beautiful Fruits Basket prints. If you uh, have watched Fruits Basket, you probably recognize that these are the stills from um, Ending 4, which is my favorite ending of the series. Um, these came with the um, limited edition season two DVD for part two, um, which is where the ending was featured. But um, if you don't know, Ian Sinclair plays our boy Kurino right here. So I'm gonna be uh, very careful and um, take this frame down and take the Kurino one out and have him sign Kurino. Cause my ultimate goal is one day, who knows if this is gonna happen. Hopefully one day I can have all of these signed by the actors if they're English or Japanese. I prefer English cause I mostly watch Fruits Basket in English. But yeah, so Kurino is my priority for Ian Sinclair. So I gotta pack, um, get all my shit together, charge up all my shit. And um, Carrie actually lives very close to the convention, um, <laughs> uh, rather close. I am a good three-ish, four-ish hour drive. So I got a lot of driving to do tomorrow. This is currently Thursday when I'm recording this. The convention is until Saturday, but um, I have to drive down there tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun times for me. I don't mind driving. I'm an American. I got I mean, I kind of just have to be used to driving. But um yeah, so that's going to be a fun drive. But um yeah, hopefully um I'll give you updates tomorrow before I leave maybe. Um or maybe when I get to Carrie's. Um who knows? Hopefully I can keep this vlog up. I'm not good at vlogging, guys. I just decided to do this on a whim and <laughs> um yeah, so, um, see you up in fucking tomorrow. Some people are the ones who pack, like, huge suitcases for, like, a two-day trip. I try not to be that person. I understand, though. Don't worry. But look at this. Only three bags. I got my, my clothes. I got my laptop, because obviously I stay in a carries. Like, I'm not at the convention the whole time. And um, I got, this is going to be kind of like my travel bag for the con. It's a cute little My Hero bag that uh, a friend got me at Five Below for Christmas. So that's fun. So now all I got to do is uh, get my bedding together for when I spent the night. I got to get my car in order. I got to get cash. Um, and then, you know, I'll be ready to go. All right. I am almost there. Almost done with the drive. Um, just filled up my tank. Um, I still got like an hour or so before uh, Carrie gets off work for me to pick her up. Um, so I spotted a Whataburger and I've never been to Whataburger before and I'm hungry as fuck. So uh, wish me luck trying to get dinner because it's busy as hell. Tastes like a burger. Or not the wig. <laughs> he has very poofy hair. <laughs> Best way to style heat into wig, just beat the shit out of it. Don't beat the shit out of him. That's, no, that's not the, him. That's the big <laughs> distinction. And here's mine. Yeah, you can see why they're pajamas. They're very, very short. But yeah, so there's that. Are you a Karasuno cat, Pickles? Are you a Karasuno cat? So we have like a tentative game plan today. Um, we're kind of just going by ear, but um, so we're gonna get there. Uh, con opens at 10. Um, and we'll obviously look around the vendor area, just kind of kind of get a sense. And then um, Jim Cummins is doing a panel and then Johnny M. Bosch is doing a panel. Those are like 12 and one or something like that. And um, so there's that, and then there's a cosplay costume contest at five. So we got a huge gap in time, and we'll either use that time to keep looking around the vendors and actually buy stuff, or um, wait in the autograph lines. Again, very tentative, but that is the general game plan for today, Saturday. Hello, 
this is Megan on Sunday in the future telling you how our day went yesterday um, so right off the bat when we got um, to the convention already parking was crazy obviously and so it felt warm enough we didn't wear our winter coats which we found to be a mistake because we got there and there was this huge line going all around the block of the building which was weird because we supposedly had gotten there after the convention had opened um so we were like that's strange but whatevs so we get in line we're in the shade not wearing our winter coats so we're freezing my freaks start freezing freezing off um and coincidentally this is downtown springfield by the way there is a circus like a legit circus happening next door to the convention and it, it was funny because as we were standing there you could very clearly see the distinction between people going to the con and people going to the circus which you would think one and the same no they were not um <laughs> but that was really funny because you had like circus people coming through it's like no one here is coming to the circus and we're like no no we're not um but anyway we so we got there around 10 which is when the con opened and it wasn't until 10.50, this entire time, like in the 50 minute span we were there, feet freezing off, whatever, we made some friends with people that we were in line with, which was great. But we didn't see a single con person. We were like, that's weird. Like we'd seen circus people come back and forth like all the time. And, but finally a con person came through and was like, hey, if you pre-ordered your tickets, you can go to the front, <laughs> which we had. So we were like, okay, fuck yeah. So we just waited in line for 50 minutes kind of for nothing we suspect that um they were not expecting as high of a turnout so the beginning especially we feel wasn't incredibly organized um but anyway we got it that's all that matters first thing we did went straight to the vendor um room because obviously you got to see the shit you're going to spend your money on and we were surprised because it was very very big and we we kind of did our rounds looking around at all the stalls and beautiful prints beautiful artists um you know people selling figures yada 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 and we kind of did our rounds first we didn't want to buy anything yet but then um the autograph section was right next to the vendor room and we look in and the lines aren't incredibly long the only people who had really long lines were like johnny and bosch and um jim cummings which were like okay well we can get them later if we want them but um, we looked at the lines for Chris Winkamp and Amberly Connors and Ian Sinclair, and they had little to no lines in front of them, which kind of made sense because it was like right as the con opened. And I don't think a lot of people are like, fuck yeah, autographs, like first thing in the morning on a convention. But we were like, well, we both already have shit we want to sign. And Carrie's like, I can just get prints from them. So um, we went um, to get their autographs. And they were so nice y'all um it's very funny because um when because cause you have like an idea in your head when you meet somebody that you you greatly admire and all that stuff but like you get to the table and you don't know what to say other than love your work it was great but um yeah, so Chris was really nice. We talked to him about season six and how his performance has been amazing. And um, I asked him um, if he's read the manga or if he knows anything. And he's actually started directing some episodes of the show. So he's like, I kind of I kind of have to. <laughs> but he was really nice. Um, and then we went to Amber right next to him. Um, you'll see it in a video, but Carrie bought um, a Miss Joke and Aizawa poster that she had both of them sign. It was really, really cool. But um, Amber was really, really sweet. I bought a peak print off of her that she signed. And uh, she wrote all over Carrie's Aizawa, like drawing hearts and future husband. It was, it was so cute. Hopefully you can see it in the video a little bit what she wrote. And then um, we went to Ian and Ian had a slightly longer line um, than Amber and Chris, but it but it was it, you could very clearly see why because he was talking like one on one with like everybody for like a long period of time and he was like so high energy. It was like ten in the morning and this man was like, yeah, autographs. <laughs> but um, from which from what I could gather from every previous thing I've seen about him is is accurate. Um, but it was so sweet because um the couple in front of us he talked to them for like 
I swear, 10 minutes. And like, you know what? All of us behind them, we weren't even mad. Um, because he, he was just like so nice and, and sweet. And um, Carrie got a, um, a Bogoto print from him. And I had him sign my Karuno thing. And both of them, he was like, oh, so great. And since Carrie's more of a local, he asked where he and Chris should um, eat. And that was really nice. Um, yeah, overall, those three were so sweet. And um, getting to meet them was really, really nice. And me and him had a heart-to-heart -heart about Kurno, and uh, it was so sweet. But um, yeah, here's a video of us detailing what we got. All right, we just got through some of the autograph lines. Um, we did um, Chris, Amber, and Ian. Yes. Yes, okay, so show them what, so we got a nice print with Aizawa and this joke. And then she got, you got a Bokuto. I got like an open the thing. I got Chris for Aizawa's page. I did end up buying a peak print from Amber. So there's that. And then I got my Corona thing signed from Ian. So yay! So after autographs, um, we just kind of went back into the vendor's room and kind of did a round, more, a more thorough rounds again of the vendor room and kind of just walking around and, and looking at cosplayers and asking for pictures and yeah, yeah, yeah. We, there were so many good cosplayers there. Um, as you can see, we, we were in kind of like haphazard Karasuno gear, um, like not full on. We didn't have wigs or anything like that. Mine wasn't even a proper uniform. It was like crop top pajama things. And we still got stopped for pictures. It was only like three times we got stopped for pictures, but we were surprised by even that. We were like, okay. Um, there was an amazing, amazing Kirishima cosplayer from MHA, um, that people were practically lining up to get pictures with. They were really, really cool. My favorite interaction probably had to be, there was a little girl, she had to be like seven, eight, something like that. And she was dressed as Toru from Fruits Basket. And she was the cutest little Toru on the planet. And it, we had a small interaction. I was walking by her and I noticed her and I'm like, oh, it's a little Toru. And then we went on our separate ways. And then um, me and Carrie were kind of just sitting on the ground taking a break. And she came up to us again. And she was like, she's like, are, are you dressed as characters from Haikyuu? And we're like, we are. And, and she's like, and I'm like, you're such a cute little Toru. And I'm like, have you seen all the fruits basket? She's like, yeah. And she was, she was so adorable. I would have, um, after the fact, I'm like, oh, like if her mother had said it was okay, I would have loved to get a picture with her. But at the same time, I feel like that's a little weird. Me asking to get a picture with a, a stranger child. I don't know. Um, but she was adorable. Um, so yeah, we kind of just spent a lot of the following hours just walking around the vendor's room and then walking around again being like, what do we want? What do we want? And it, it really was just like talking with people and seeing the things was, was great. Yeah, well, um, let me get back if you want. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> A great shot, truly. <laughs> it's, this vlog's gonna be filled with, like, me eating- Cause I did- I did me eating Whataburger in my fucking car yesterday. <laughs> we got these beautiful roses from these- Oh, so kind Thank people. You. Once we had grabbed lunch, a very meager lunch at McDonald's, um, uh, we went back and went to Johnny and Bosch's panel. Um, we kind of had Jim Cummings' panel, which was right before that on the docket, but then we were like, yeah, we don't got to. We were running kind of weird schedule, but, um, so we went to Johnny and Bosch's panel. It was, it was weird, not because of Johnny himself or like technically how the panel itself, so it was set up like a normal Q&A panel. But where it was, so they didn't have like separate rooms with doors for the Q&As. It was like the main entrance of the con was curtained off in the back of the room. And then they set up a bunch of chairs and that was the Q&A section. So there was like a bunch of cacophony of noise of people still coming in. And 
like it was just a wide open space so the sound was like all over the place anyway so it was really hard to hear and like me and Carrie started off sitting like in the back because we got there really late and we couldn't hear shit and couldn't see anything so we just kind of like walked over to the side and to the front and just stood there and we could hear much better um so for today's panel when we go see um Chris Amber and Ian we're definitely gonna try to get there as early as we can and get close to the front not in the center so we can see and we can hear um so that was really weird um but yeah so afterward we're just like well, okay we got like about three hours to kill because we wanted to go to the costume contest at like five this is at like two o'clock and we're like okay well let's go back to my car and we'll um we can drive back to Harry's house drop all off all the prints all the art we got which I'll do a haul at the end of the video um but we're like oh we'll just we'll just go back um, so we walked down to the parking garage that I was parked in, which was a couple, um, blocks down the street from the convention center. And, uh... Plot twist of the day. I got towed. Yeah. Yeah, I got towed. So, it's a funny thing about this parking garage. Because, um, people might think I'm stupid. But, so it was labeled private parking. However there was no gate there was no there was a sign saying that you would get towed at your own expense but it was like not even like right by the entrance it was like 10 feet off to the side so no one saw it um there was no gate no place to pay there were there was nothing barring it off um it didn't say why it was private it didn't say it belonged to an apartment complex or anything like that um and a bunch of people from the convention were um parking there so me and Carrie just assumed like oh like there's the convention going on, there's the circus going on, there's a lot of stuff happening this weekend. Maybe they're just like, fuck it, we'll open it up, first come, first serve, whoever can park here, good luck. Um, and we thought, you know, like, even if we're not allowed to park here, like, there were, like, a ton of convention people parking there. And we're like, they can't tell all of us, can they? They don't all of us. Um, we walked up to the parking garage and immediately, like, it was, like... It was like full when we had left it and we get there and three four 75 percent of the cars are gone meaning all of those were convention people and they towed everybody um so like me minorly freaking out um and there's already other convention people there there's a lady very official looking with a clipboard um and people are taking out her complaints with her i'm not gonna get into it because this is not the first time I've been towed. I was just like, this is an inconvenience. Um, but yeah, um, so that was a whole ordeal. Um, we had to get um, Carrie's stepdad to help us retrieve my car. The fee was a little steep, but you know what? It is what it is. And you know what? We had had a good day. I was not gonna let it um, ruin everything. We'd had a wonderful day. I wasn't gonna let it ruin our mood. And you know what? I'm still gonna spend a lot of money today. And forever um so yeah that was a whole ordeal but it took up enough of time that we were unable to go to the costume contest unfortunately but um we did spend the rest of the night um uh cosplay hunting for carrie uh for for little pieces because um because johnny was in the the anime k she wanted to do a yata cosplay so um we just kind of went around uh, like walmart ross um not maurice's marshall's <laughs> and um, went around looking for stuff. Um, so that's how we spent our night. And then we came back here and we rested. <laughs> um, Carrie played some D&D, &D. I just chilled out, which is why I didn't do this last night because we were all busy. But um, yeah, so um, today's docket for Sunday, we really only have one scheduled thing planned, which is the panel like first thing once the convention opens with Chris, Amber and Ian. And then, we're just gonna spend the rest of the day in the vendor's room um, buying stuff for our friends, sp spending the rest of our budget, which we've already gone over. Um, we're probably gonna get Johnny and Bosch's autograph today, which is gonna be fun. Um, and then I go home <laughs> and I sleep. So yeah, hopefully today is um, just as eventful in more positive ways. Um, and hopefully I can get footage of it and we can take a lot more pictures of cosplayers. So here we go. <laughs> oh shit, I just- <laughs> 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 Right?
right as I started the video. You look so good. Thank I haven't you. even seen the show and it looks good. Thank you. He's my favorite boy. Yes. We'll see if Johnny recognizes you when we really go in his cool, line. But I would like you thought I was like flustered with Ian. <laughs> when you meet Johnny Bosch. I hope he has a Promare print. Because if I get I anything, too. I hope I'll, I'll get Promare. I want Promare first and or then Wolf's like Rain. a Wolf's Rain would be badass. Yeah. Or a Saruhiko print. But like, I mean, he's in so much. I feel like I yeah. I won't be able to not find a print that I wouldn't want. Yeah. Wish us luck, universe. <laughs> we people. paid for our parking. We paid for our parking spot. today. We did. <laughs> if it happens twice, I'm gonna be pissed. We did it. We are like the first ones here. <laughs> we didn't sit in the front row. Yeah, we all got anxiety. Yes, but, like... we have friends. I'm not gonna put them on camera, but. Uh... So yeah, you can see. This is kind of what I was talking about. So like, there's a stage. Here's all this stuff. The entrance to the convention is literally past those curtains. And you can like, maybe it doesn't translate on the camera as well, but like you can hear everything. And like this is just what the panel room is. So it's a little weird. I realize I haven't been videoing. So we went to lunch in Chipotle, great. Um, so we're just kind of walking around waiting for like a cosplay panel to start. And we're like, oh, we've, we've bought enough. We, we, we'd bought like all the gifts for our friends and everything. We're like, we don't need to buy anything else walks by a stand I hadn't noticed until literally just now buys $50 worth of 45 yeah <laughs> look, look how cute let's show them because we've been showing things let's show, let's show I'm doing stuff. a I'm doing a final haul at the end of the video oh so. well you'll be gone yeah so I'll do my final haul yeah it's Cherry and Joe Cherry and Joe that's one Vinci and Lumine yeah because I love their friendship relationship anything with yes. them and then Kaya, because I'm in love with Kaya. Yeah. And I have been in love with Kaya. And I also got some prints and I had to get a Kaya print. Like, that was the main reason. Absolutely. I, and I splurged because it was a Kaya print. But yeah, it's a, <laughs> we're, we're going to a cosplay horror story panel. Yes. And then once that's done, taking you home. Yes. Getting my shit. Yes. And I'm leaving. Yes. Because I hate it here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. I am finally home and comfortable and tired, but we will still recount the day. The panel this morning with Chris, Ian, and Amber was amazing. It was such a fun panel, even though it was only like an hour long. Um, sitting in the front really helped in terms of um, volume and being able to see, obviously. But I think they took some, the, the con staff themselves took some notes. Probably they had heard some complaints about the panels yesterday. So mics were improved, kind of the way it was run was a little better. Also, there were just less people coming in the entrance than there had been previously. So there was just less ambient noise to begin with. But also just like the panel was so fun. There was great chemistry between the three of them and the audience. Um, and cause you know, like, and normally like sometimes with panels you have like people who ask questions and you can tell they're fishing for a very specific answer and it kind of makes everyone else in the room like really awkward. There was nothing like that in this panel. With the Johnny and Bosch panel, there were a few questions like that, but with the panel this morning, it was so good. Everyone asked such great questions and they had such great answers and just bounced stuff off. And I was able to ask a question, which was really cool. Um, I asked them um, what project they would have uh, liked to be a part of that was either before their time as an actor or maybe they had been um, obligated to do some other projects so they weren't even able to go for another project or just something they wish they could have been a part of but weren't. Um, and both Ian and Chris said they would have loved to be a part of Batman the Animated Series, which yes, they both would have been amazing. And then Amber wished she could have been a part of the Double Skip Beat, which I've never seen. I've heard good things, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that panel was amazing. Um, afterward, we had planned to go get autographs from Johnny because we hadn't done that yesterday because his lines were super long. Unfortunately, so when the con, right when the con opened, we went straight to the panel room to get the good seats. So we were sitting there for just an hour before the panel started. Um, by the time we came down, um, Johnny's autograph line had been capped. And then the next time we came, he was gone. 
so he just kind of um he had already left by that point it was time for him to go so that was a shame um we were a little sad especially because carrie dressed up as yata because of johnny which is uh but that's fine because the money i would have spent on his autograph i got ian to sign my my hero book um so you know what you, you win some you lose some and then the very last panel we went to um, at the end of the day was hosted by the Springfield Cosplay Club, which I didn't know existed and Carrie didn't know existed till literally this weekend. But yeah, like all their cosplays looked great and they talked about like cosplay horror stories, like either like funny like mishaps of like cosplay breaking or you know, like weird encounters. It was nothing like too graphic or too uncomfortable because I didn't want to go into like super negative territory with it. But yeah, it was just a, that was it was just a fun little panel and it was very very intimate and very very nice. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. I'll leave uh, I'll find links for them um, if you happen to be in the Springfield, Missouri area um, and want to be part of a cosplay club. I'll try to find their links and put them in the description somewhere. They are awesome. There was like a Gallo and a Leo from Promare. There was a Zelda from Breath of the Wild. Uh, their their stuff looked good, better than anything I could have done. Um, so yeah, that was just the con experience. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, my haul. Um, I'm probably just gonna go by like vendor rather than like, cause I got stuff for myself and I got stuff for other people. So I'll probably just go by like just bags and uh, stuff like that. Um, I will go ahead and show these in more detail, the stuff I got signed. So I showed this little Kurno print that I have from the season two um, DVD limited edition box set. Um, you can see he signed with my name and it's hard to see because he wrote in black, but he said, follow your heart, which if you haven't seen Fruits Basket is a big part of Kurno's um, arc and everything. So yeah, get a, get a better look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh my gosh. And then my ultra analysis guide for my hero so if we get in here my bookmarks aren't here anymore i gotta find them all again god there he is all right so yep i got chris farizawa on his page and then again like i said because i was not able to get johnny's autograph i probably would have just gotten one of johnny's prints because i didn't really have anything um but since I was not able to get Johnny, I was able to get Ian to sign Mr. Shoji's page. Sign that. And he gave him gave him a little smile on the mask. And what did he write? Oh, he just wrote Plus Ultra. Yeah. So I got that. Hopefully, if all goes well and I can go to a lot more cons in the future, hopefully I can get a lot more of my hero signatures in this. And I think that'd be really, really special. So there are some autographs. I'll show the um, once I get to the peak print I got from Amber that I got signed. I will show that as well. Some things that I bought that um, are not here because I already gave them to her, um, Amber. Um, I got her little rolling block um, for her um, dice. She plays D&D, &D, so I got her one of those. There was a great um, carpenter there that made like wooden fantasy maps and, you know, like dice blocks and uh, like um, dice boxes and everything else. And it was really cool. So I got her one of those. I got her a Rengoku plush. And then I also got her a little Joe keychain from Skate the Infinity. The cat's being nuts. And then from that same shop, I got that uh, Joe keychain from. Um, I bought a few other things, some for myself, some for other person, just one other person. Um, so for my friend Rachel, I got this cute Maureen pin from My Dress Up Darling. She loves My Dress Up Darling. So I saw this. This was the last shop me and Carrie um, uh, bought from. Um, we were walking around, we'd said we'd done enough and somehow we had not seen this booth in the vendor area. So we were like, oh my gosh, we need to buy it. And then of course I had to get a beautiful, beautiful Toru pin from Fruits Basket. I didn't even notice it, you can't tell, but the keychain's a heart. I didn't even notice that when I bought it, but it's so cute. And then I also got this adorable um, Kyo and Toru sticker. Um, this shop is called uh, Cat Nerd Creations. So um, 
I don't know if it'll reverse this or not. I'll still put it in like a subtitle or something, but Cat Nerd Creations, please check them out. Their art is gorgeous and adorable. Um, it says um, they have TikTok, they have Insta, um, all that good stuff. They have their own website. I will link them in the description, put their name here somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, they're great. In case any of you were wondering, um, these are surprise gifts. But um, by the time this video comes out, they've either gotten their gifts or um, they don't, they're usually slow to watch new uploads on this channel, believe it or not. Um, so I'm not worried about ruining the surprise. And if I do, then boo. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so actually going on to another one of my things. Here's that peak print. Give you a better look at that. Her signature is so pretty. And then here she wrote, um, good morning, Pop. Cause you know that like one scene in like early on in season four where she's just crawling on the ground and scares the shit out of Porco. Um, yeah, this is a really good print. I was really worried. I was surprised like there wasn't more um, Attack on Titan stuff. I didn't see a lot of Attack on Titan art um, at the vendor, but this is a beautiful print. I, I was very, very impressed by it. So I'm um, hoping I might, I'm, I'll probably end up getting a frame for this. I got a frame for fucking everything so there is that these next prints are all gifts for other people um but they're all from the same shop um they were probably the one some of the ones with my uh and carrie's uh favorite art um at the convention um it is at molly janks um this was on the thing i didn't grab one of her cards that was a mistake but at Molly Jenks, I'll put her stuff as usual. Link her in the description. Let's show some of these. My friend Tracy's birthday is coming up and she is the biggest Sailor Moon fan. So we got this beautiful, is this holographic? Yeah, holographic print of Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. I'm sure she will love it. And then um, for Rachel once more, we got her dress up darling. Um, we got our poster for that. Um, my sister is coming to visit soon, um, and she is getting, uh, Hal from Hal's Moving Castle. This is, this is probably my favorite, um, of all the art that they had. Um, they actually had two versions of this. They had black-haired Hal and then the blonde Hal from the beginning of the film. I just got black-haired Hal because it's like, uh, but yeah, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then finally, for our good old honorary Astro Girl, <laughs> Dustin, um, I got him an Osuke because he loves an Osuke and he loves Demon Slayer. Um, so yeah, those are those four prints. Be sure to check her out. Her art is amazing. Um, they got great holographic prints, great like metal prints, stuff like that. Um, yeah, check her out. And finally, the last thing I bought, this was the most expensive thing I bought at the convention and I'm not taking it out of the plastic yet because I need to find a frame for it because it is made of either glass or very um hard sturdy plastic I can't tell and I'm not gonna risk it because it's so pretty and again expensive but we have this beautiful beautiful your name art I've been looking for um some kind of wall art for your name for a really long time and um these this booth was just like it floored me and carrie they had so many good designs and so many like breath we wanted like half the stuff they had at that booth but of course um these were actually 80 dollars each which some of you might find ridiculous but i believe it is worth it it was a really really amazing um let me see here this is um, V1 Tech. Um, that is their website right there on the card. Again, I will link them in the description. Um, well, that's for me. Fuck them. <laughs> but yeah, please um, check them out. Their art is gorgeous. Hopefully they'll come to a convention near you because their stuff is awesome. Mentally and spiritually, I am fulfilled. This was a great weekend. It was such a fun time for me and Carrie to just hang out one-on-one. -on -one. We met so many great people. It was just... It was, it was a great vibe at this convention, which is crazy because this was actually the very first Missouri Comic Con. Um, and uh, for those of you who don't live in the Middle West um, or Missouri, we don't get very much excitement. So you know what? This is a big deal. Um, and it was it was great. It was it was very, very fun. 
physically I feel like trash and like I could sleep for 48 hours. The, the con adrenaline has immediately dropped. I just drove like four hours. My ankles hurt. I already feel the soreness coming on. I drank nothing but soda and fast food like all weekend, which is not the norm for me. I'm I'm so glad I took off work tomorrow because I, I think I'm gonna be dead to the world tomorrow in all honesty, but I don't regret it at all. This is this is a great weekend. Like even the part where my car got towed, you know what? I'm, I'm, fuck it, I don't, I don't care. And this was, this was a great weekend. Um, I hope this was um, fun to watch, especially for maybe a few of you who watched who maybe also attended that con. Maybe we saw each other in passing. Or um, if you haven't been to a convention before, hopefully maybe this encourages you to go to one. It's very, very fun. Great way to meet your fellow weeb peers. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna rest and um, I'll get started on another video essay script. One is coming very soon. It's been very slow working because I've been tired and lazy and shit's been happening. Um, but yeah, so hopefully um, I can get this out very, very soon. Hopefully I can get started on that script very soon and get you another video out. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, is there anything I'm reading? Um, well, if I am, then screw it. Um, <laughs> but um, have a wonderful day. Stay happy, safe, and healthy. Um, and then I think I'm just going to uh, show some more um, pictures we took of awesome cosplayers um, at the end of this video. So um, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I don't fucking know.